Sehwag was never complicated. He was never actually. Again, uh, Sehwag was. <laughs> he was a very. He had a very demoralizing effect on me. Actually, uh, I had I had successful uh, stints as bowlers in the bo as a bowler in the IPL. I'd I'd won a couple of Man of the Series awards in T20 competitions, and uh, there was an incident in Dambula where every ball that I bowled, first ball I bowled outside off stump, Sehwag cut me. Hmm. The next ball I bowled on off stump, he cut me. The next ball I bowled on middle stump, he cut me. The next time I bowled on leg stump, he again cut me. So I said, "What the hell is happening?" So I just bowled a ball fuller. He stepped out and lagged me for a six. So I was like, "Okay, either I'm just not good enough, or this guy is just way too good," which he was. Uh, but to the greater Sachin Tendulkar, also I didn't struggle bowling so much in the nets too. So I was very inquisitive. I I observed this for a few days, but then I couldn't hold myself back. I went to him and asked, uh, "So what should I do to improve?" If I had asked Sachin, he would have said, "So you can work on this, so whatever it is." If I had asked MS, he would have said, "He would have given me a perspective." But Viru said, "Hey, yeah, you know what? I don't think off spinners are bowlers. It doesn't, it doesn't, they don't trouble me at all. I just find it easy smashing them." I said, "But you're cutting me." He said, "Yeah, off spinners, I'll hit against the spin on the off side. Left arm spinners, I'll hit against the spin on the leg side." I said, "Okay, fine." The next day, I tried something at the nets. He again started hitting me this place and that place. He, he was treating me like actually a road rag, a road ragger or something <laughs> like how I would treat an, like a ten-year-old kid if I was batting against him. You no, know? so then I realized one fine day that it was his ego that you needed to bowl against mm. because he gave me a very interesting story. He said I had fever in a game at Rotak, mm. and I smashed Harbhajan for twelve sixes. You know, Harbhajan is a good off spinner. I said okay, yeah, Harbhajan is a good <laughs> off spinner, but that doesn't mean you you smoke him for twelve sixes with fever. I then asked him what was the story. He said I opened the innings, I hit him for two sixes, I had fever, I came back in, I went in at number ten and smashed him for another ten sixes. The wicket was spinning square, you know. I said what did you do? Every ball because it was spinning, I decided I'll smack him over the leg side. Like he said, he even hit him out from outside the pitch, outside off stump, and hit him for a six on the leg side. So basically for Sevag. It was very simple. He hit people on good balls. So my simple strategy to Seva was bowl rubbish balls, <laughs> and it it worked. It worked because wow. when you start bowling rubbish balls, he starts dictating the pace to you with your rubbish balls or your so-called plan against him. So the best possible plan against Seva was to bowl every single ball as the best rubbish ball that you can. Bowl. <laughs> and I got him out a few times in the IPL that way, because what he expects. Is not what you dish out because he expects you to bowl good balls at international. Ah, wow, what an insight! Sehwag on the pitch, you figured out, but did you figure out Sehwag in a team meeting? One thing that I will tell about Sehwag is very clear: he didn't believe in team meetings. He didn't believe in playing the way the team wanted or any strategy or anything. <laughs> he just wanted to see the ball and hit it. He wanted to hit every every single bowler. So uh, there was one such meeting during the 2011 World Cup. Uh, I'd always seen uh, Virupa as who he was. Like I told you, these incidences, and then in the IPL, how I bowled to him, and what was my experience was to him, and all that. We were playing England at Bangalore, and we were we were staying at the ITC uh, hotel. And uh, Gary had scheduled a meeting at about ten o'clock in the morning, and uh, we we finished the game in Dhaka. We were, we came back to Bangalore, and uh, usually Viru never speaks in the meeting, and the Indian team meeting goes for a grand two minutes every single day. <laughs> so. uh this time what happened gary took his notebook and there was a beautiful uh, slide that was there team india mission 2011 world cup or whatever it is so um all of a sudden it was very new usually the presentation goes gary speaks then he says ms and ms says nothing we all leave that's the meeting <laughs> that's the meeting agenda usually so uh um, the slide was there and Gary very interestingly closed his diary. Mm -hmm. He generally briefs upon the previous match and says good luck for the next match. That's it. That's all Gary's report carries. You can probably read the Hindu and <laughs> know what Gary will speak about or the Times of India whatever. But he believed in the Hindu because it is more diplomatic. Mm -hmm. So uh immediately Gary said well done guys it was a great win in Dhaka. Viru will start us off. Actually Viru had gone to Gary and said I would like to speak in the meeting and he he didn't update Gary on what he was going to speak about. So Gary thought he was going to say something about the team. He said, "Chalo, we had a great game in Dhaka. Now tell me how many complimentary passes is each player <laughs> promised?" Like we were all thrown off. I didn't understand what he was saying. 
and he had actually found out from somewhere that everybody was eligible for six passes and we were only getting three. <laughs> so he said, come what may, we play the next game or before the toss, we should get our six complimentary passes. Gary was like, I don't need my two, you can take my two. <laughs> and Viru immediately jumped up and said, Gary, you're eligible for four, but you're getting only two. So we need to sort this out. And that meeting went on for 20 minutes. Wow. Because the manager spoke, the logistic manager spoke, the BCCI spoke, and how, why they were giving us three passes. Viru said, nothing doing, if you don't give us six, I will take this up and I will not play the game. <laughs> then we were all, thankfully, because of Viru, the World Cup became a lot more easier for players like me. Hmm. Because the people were asking passes left, right and centre. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh,